Hello world, my name is Anisha Malde and I'm a developer evangelist here at Amazon. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the top 5 things your Fire TV app should be doing. Recently, there has been an incredible acceleration in appetite for video content, with the average Fire TV customer now using multiple different streaming video subscriptions. This is reflective in the most downloaded apps on the Amazon App Store, where over the last year, majority of the top most downloaded apps were streaming apps. So without further ado, let's dive into the best practices these and other apps share. The first theme being what is usually the first step to accessing content, signing up or logging in. Providing your customer with a quick and easy way to sign up and log in can help lower churn, improve customer satisfaction, and encourage registration. If you have used an on-screen keyboard, you might share the sentiment felt by most customers, frustration. If your app requires the customer to sign up, this can mean having to fill up multiple fields using your remote, which we calculated can require over 300 clicks. Having an option to log in using their Amazon accounts can allow customers to log into your app in just two to three clicks. It enables you to leverage a brand customers trust while also maintaining the ability to build a more personalized experience. Using login with Amazon SDK not only reduces infrastructure and operational costs, it also reduces registration friction, enabling customers to get to content quicker and it leverages security and scalability. The second theme is building with a content-forward UI approach. Unlike with traditional TV, Fire TV customers can switch between different services and subscriptions at the press of a button, opening them up to a world of content. With so much content at their fingertips, many viewers start a viewing session without knowing what they want to watch. By building up your app with a content-first approach, you offer viewers a glimpse into the content available before they have to make a purchase. This enables you to connect to a wider audience. To encourage customers to engage with your app, Fire TV offers your app the means to send recommendations to users about the content that you want them to watch. Recommendations appear on recommended by your app's row on the Fire TV home screen. By appearing on the home screen, recommendations are visible within the user's regular view. The recommendations cards encourage users back into your app with just one click. Recommendations are most effective when you personalize them by taking a look at your user's interests, profile and recent activity to come up with the recommendation. Personalizing the recommendations leads to an even greater engagement and interest in your app. The third theme is accounting for a 10-foot UI experience. TV customer interfaces are often referred to as 10-foot customer interfaces or 10-foot UI because the typical customer views the screen from more than 10 feet or 3 meters away. Designing customer-friendly TV apps for this 10-foot experience means not only creating an interface that accounts for the smaller viewing angle, but an interface that can also communicate to customers who are more relaxed and distracted than when they interact with other devices. Some key guidelines to keep in mind when designing a 10-foot UI-friendly app. Keep it clear, simple and visual. The design of a screen in a 10-foot UI requires simplicity and clarity with low information density. Limit the number of design elements or UI components on the screen and ensure that those elements are large enough and spaced far enough apart to be read from a distance. Present a clear set of instructions or actions for each screen. Secondly, place important content first so that it is easily viewable and navigable by the customer. And finally, focus on consumption. Applications should have a clear focus on getting customers to content quickly. TV app interfaces are mainly about providing entertainment. When customers sit down in front of their TV, they don't want to do any extra work. So try and minimize the number of clicks a user has to make and the amount of text input needed. 
The fourth theme is enhancing your monetization strategy. An important part of the success of an app for most developers is monetization. Amazon's in-app purchasing or IAP API provides you with an easy way to do this while creating a consistent flowing customer experience. Using Amazon's in-app purchasing SDK, once a transaction is initiated, Amazon App Store client app surfaces and presents an Amazon branded user interface to complete the transaction. This enables you to capitalize on Amazon's existing secure in-app purchasing technology that has robust authentication and fraud detection, while saving on the cost of building the infrastructure around payments yourself. Amazon's in-app purchasing is a one-stop shop for all kinds of purchases, as it allows customers to purchase various items, allowing you to easily scale your app. The different kinds of purchases are subscriptions, which offer access to a premium set of content or features for a limited period of time, Consumables, which are purchases that are made then consumed within the app, such as extra lives or in-game assets. And entitlements, which are one-time purchases to unlock access to features or content within your app, such as bonus levels. Additionally, in-app purchasing enables a focus on consumption described earlier, as it allows customers to use their existing Amazon connected credit cards to pay, making purchases just one click away. Last but not least is extending your TV app beyond its standard functionality. This means integrating features that enhance the customer experience, such as voice integration. The powerful combination of voice and Fire TV allows your customers to use speech to interact and enjoy a new level of convenience. Using the Android Media Session API, you can enable voice control on media apps on Fire TV. With Media Session, your customers can play, pause, skip, forward, or rewind content with their voice. Alternatively, the Fire App Builder includes Alexa integration by default. It is important to note that Alexa commands using Media Session API cannot automatically surface specific media titles within your app through voice search. Voice search for your app's content is only possible when your media is integrated into the Amazon catalog. Amazon Catalog Integration is the process of submitting your app's media content to Amazon. This integration enables for universal search and browse. This allows customers to discover your content on Fire TV regardless of whether they have your app installed, as shown on screen. However, it is important to note that this is currently only available to selected partners. To rapidly build streaming media Android apps using the best practices we discussed for Fire TV, you can use the Amazon Fire App Builder. It comes integrated with some of the features described as well as many more. To get started using the Fire App Builder, check out the GitHub repository whose link is in the description below on how to build a sample app like the one shown on screen. Or head over to developer.amazon.com slash fire TV for more information on developing for Fire TV. Additionally, to learn more about how to use Amazon App Store features to implement the themes discussed, check out the links on screen or find them in the description below. Thank you so much for your time. To discover more, head over to developer.amazon.com. I hope this video was useful in learning how to enhance your app. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe.